Dale looked aghast that he had been this close to finding her and yet it was like he had been fooled for years. Dale was furious and at the same time, he burst into tears with so much annoyance. Oh my god, I was such a fool. Why haven't I thought of searching for her in Mercer County? I never considered that place because it was just close to Ridge Heights. I overestimated her. She was almost at my reach all these years and yet I was duped. They made me a laughing stock. They made me a fool. Now I am positive that both of them were planning something. Hmm. So that's why Ariane suddenly came into my brother's life. These sisters are quite good and they outwitted me. They'll pay for this. Dale was angrier than ever. He never realized that an innocent looking girl like Ariane could hoodwink him and his brother. Play innocent as long as you can, Ariane, and you, Monica, you'll get what you're looking for. You escaped from me once, but not the second time. We'll see who is a better sly between the two of us. Oh, you, two sisters are really good. I'm impressed. Then Dale turned to Benito. I want you to find out where Monica is working and if she is not with Ariane. I must know where her address is and who she is living with. She must gotten married already which was why she was not with her sister. Do you want me to know who her husband and where her man is working too, Buzz? Find every single details about Monica. I want her to pay every single year she hid from me. That fudge. She and her crybaby sister shall taste their own medicine. The following Monday morning, Benito started his task. He followed her that night after they parted ways, and now he's back on her track. He saw Monica enter a building so he stood by and observed discreetly so that security won't notice him. And there he saw Monica at the front desk, conversing with a fellow employee. He took his cell phone, pretending he was reading his feed, then aimed at Monica and snapped a shot. Benito sent the picture to Dale and texted the company name to him, Home Care Depot. Dale got the picture and read the text Benito sent him. Again, Dale was shocked. How could that be? That was Rain's company. How on earth was Monica employed there? Does Rain have something to do with her, too? Dale was confused and was becoming suspicious. Dale has become restless. He thought for a second, then after processing his thoughts, he dialed Home Care Depot's number. Dale's call came in. Home Care Depot. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. Good morning. I want to speak to Miss Monica Hicks. Can you connect me to her line? Asked Dale in a calm tone. I'm sorry, sir, but we have no employee with that name, Monica Hicks. You must have called a wrong company, sir. Dale somehow got irritated and replied. I cannot be wrong because I was told she was employed in your company. May you please check your roster? I can never be wrong. I'm sorry sir, but I am well adept about our employees here. Maybe you got the wrong name, or if you wish I can connect you to the HR department to help you find the person you are looking for. Would that be alright with you sir? And also, may I know who I am talking with? Dale was about to lose his temper, but agreed anyway. Alright then, I am Randall Joseph. But can you give me your name in case the HR would this ask? This is Monique Talbot, sir. Your customer. Assistant for today. I will transfer your call now, Mr. Randall Joseph. Human Resources Department, what can I help you with, Mr. Joseph? Our customer support already informed me about your problem. Looking in our data, there is no employee with the name Monica Hicks. I also matched the name and surname to our employees' profiles but nothing came up. Maybe you got the wrong company, sir. I'm sorry. I cannot be of help. I'm ending this call now. Dale got furious so he called Benito this time. Are you sure you got the right person in her office? They could not find her name there. They told me I might got the wrong company. But sir, I have never been mistaken. I showed the picture to Lucio and he was positive. Maybe. She changed her name so no one can tell. Benito said, with highly suspicious idea. In that case, go back to Monica and wait till she was off from her work then. Follow her. I don't want any mistakes, Benito. You and Lucio have to work together for better and faster results. No more mistakes, do you hear? If only Dale could have recognized Monica Hicks' voice, he already had talked with her in the person of Monique Talbot. Now that Monica Hicks was found, what implications might the sisters face? Part 62 follows. If you like this part of the series, 
please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This will continually inspire me to create more exciting events to make it more interesting for you. Thank you for your encouraging support and see you in the next video.